uniform in length than those destined for woolen ones. The journey for both types of wool begins with the scouring process, washing the wool in hot water and detergent and extracting the lanolin which can be used in cosmetics. The wool is then blow-dried and undergoes a process called carding, opening up the tangled fibres into a continuous length. At the end of carding, the woolen roving is extracted, while the worsted sliver moves on to the gilling process, which is designed to further align the fibres. From there, the wool undergoes a process called combing. The sliver is pulled through a fine-toothed comb, leaving short fibres and contamination behind. The resultant wool top is drawn down to a fine rope called a worsted roving. The worsted and woolen rovings are spun by applying twist, which binds the fibres together to form continuous and strong yarn. Worsted yarns are fine and smooth, whereas woolen yarns have more texture and bulk. The yarn is the raw material of the fashion industry. It can be knitted through a process of interlocking loops or woven by interlacing weft yarns across warp yarns, which run the length of the fabric. Wool can be dyed at almost any stage of the process and involves treating the fibre with coloured dyes in boiling water. The fabric then undergoes a process called finishing, designed to create wool's characteristic softness and texture. It is washed, steamed and then pressed, ready for delivery. It is the job of fashion designers and pattern makers to transform the fabric into innovative designs for interiors, intimate apparel, knits and woven garments.